hello my viewers welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome to this channel once more and if this is your first time of coming across the channel you are highly welcome to my channel i am good news and amarachi you can call me your real estate guide your favorite realtor in the city of enugu um especially you I'm, I'm a real tough especially first time investors people who doesn't know what it means to invest in real estate investment so um i welcome you back again to this channel uh, here on this channel i educate people on real estate investment and how to make wise and smart investment regarding real estate and so please stay tuned with us if you haven't yet subscribed please do so to subscribe and turn on your notification button so you can be notified whenever i drop videos concerning real estate investment okay um today we're making a drive through from maryland enugu to wtc estate yes maryland enugu actually i went to make a video cause um concerning roofing sheet from one of my clients at metu street maryland so um stay tuned with us grab a cup of popcorn or better still get a chill drink and then relax as we journey together to see what maryland looks like okay um now come and tell us a little story about maryland enugu um how many of us know university of nigeria enugu campus the university of nigeria enugu campus you know university of nigeria has two universities the one at Nsoka, two campuses the one at Nsoka, and the one at enugu the one at enugu is mainly for professional courses you don't know every course is professional to import but then um enugu people we are said to be more professional in culture so there's actually courses like business administration this business management accountancy then environmental courses like software um asset management then health sciences like nursing um med medical rehabilitation radiography med lab and then faculty of law all these ones are found and unique they are known to be professional courses according to them so this ones they stay at Enugu campus and then due to the wholesale deficit the accommodation deficit in university of nigeria Enugu campus students resorted to certain accommodation elsewhere and guess where they found accommodation out of 80 percent of students that stay off campus 50 percent stay at maryland so maryland is like a second hostel to university of nigeria and with campus student <laughs> yes so if you can look around here if you can if you have everybody observe and you can see that actually most of the houses here are kind of duplex virtually brooding most of them yes actually most of them are occupied by students yes they are occupied by students because they don't have any other option you know parents can't leave their children stranded because they are going to school so most parents because of um the life of their children and then security of their children resorted to keeping their students off campus and then majorly maryland actually so maryland is like a second hostel for unique students in any campus yeah so that's the brief information I have about Maryland in Ugu. And you can see these fine houses. Yeah, look at it. I'm sure if you come to this compound, 50 can be up to 50 people, 50 percent population here can be students. Yes, I'm sure about it because Maryland is like a home for students. Yes, we are heading to Nomalinda um normally that is an extension is also another part occupied but that's really my friend and my classmates stays around this area yes now i'm going to you're going to see an arrow there but it, but the left is leading to timber and also leading to uba and also to unique yes and also there's a police station here at the left yes then the right we are heading to normalinda yes normalinda you can see the busy nature of the road yeah take care okay, okay. this maryland and maryland actually all those places are maryland but then there are different locations in maryland so this part is normal in there.
oh yes so we are approaching the Malinda extension this is the Malinda extension yes yeah this is the Malinda extension this is the part that that's me this is Hill Estate there's a part there's a, I made a video about um about the um, Sitting Avenue. Mean, this hill is six from the sitting This is treasure points. <laughs> this treasure points is known for their, their quality shawarma. <laughs> this is where all the students like to buy their shawarma. Very cheap and then tasty. There's also the minimum teacher located by the right. Then, like I was saying about hill estates, it's an estate found at Sitting City. I made a video about Sitting City. You can check it. Check about a tour as nice city. I made this video like a few weeks ago. So yes. So we have left Maryland. As actually, the other route downstairs by the right is taking to is leading you to Guaji. So we've left Maryland already. And then we're heading to residential to independent layout. At this point, let me at this point let me allow you to enjoy the ride. I think I'm talking too much already. So we are at Pioneers Junction Independent Layout. Yes, the, the Pioneer. That's what it's called. So we are heading towards ESBS Junction in Inuwa. This junction, the other one leads to Ayek, the other one leads to um, the British, the other one leads to uh, Monkey Junction. I made a video concerning Monkey Junction in my former video. You can also go and check out Monkey Junction in Inuwa 2022. You can see the beauty of the street. I love it. Nugu is very beautiful. Yeah, a lot has happened in Enugu. A lot of development has taken place in Enugu. You can see beautiful houses, the beautiful environment, the beautiful streets. Yes, yes, yes. We are at ESVS Junction. This street. The one looking forward leading to Agri Bank, yes, and the other one back is looking it's leading to Monkey Junction. So we have I put this the route leading to the WTC estate. Yes. Along this National Library by the left, along this route, we are going to find the Frank Hotel. We already passed to um the Frank Hotel. Now we are around um institute of management and technology you know imt actually imt has three campuses but in this campus three that's the one you find um before house on the rock in Ubu. so you're heading towards house on the rock in Ubu. you see the beauty of this place the Enugu is beautiful finally yes i'm so happy of the development that's taking place in this place you can see the beauty environment mm -hmm. So we are close to House on the Rock in Nugu. House on the Rock, that church has a place so many life. House on the Rock, the home for all. It's really a home for all. And then thank God for Pastor. This old part church, yeah. Thank God for Pastor, Pastor Edwin Bayebo. That man is this old part river church, yeah. Old part river church. Look at it. God has used that man to bless the people of Nugu. This is House on the Rock in Nugu. Look at it by the left. Naturally, this month August is celebrated its birthday, and oh my God, God bless that man. <laughs> and it's really my month. August 18th is my birthday, and I'm grateful to God for the gifts of life. <laughs> yes, God has been faithful. So we are heading to Mbakiti Junction. 
Kitty. That that Mpok Kitty has saved so many life in your neck. Actually, I'm a unique student. It has saved so many life in your neck. But this day will come, like from your neck to neck gate in Mpok Kitty Junction is that 15 naira. So just come here to buy fuel, come here to buy kerosene, and then buy food stuffs. And then you're going to see it a, a place for hairdressers. Yes, and this shoot is living to living church, living faith church. That are winners headquarters. Yes. This is Poverty Junction. Wow, yes. A lot of programs for say this people are seeing all these people here are hairdressers. This is a kind of market for hairdressers in Poverty Junction. <laughs> Women and beauty. <laughs> So we're heading towards the VTC estate. Yes, that's where the video is going to end. So this MSP. Um all this, all these places are also called the pocket. Also called the MSP. And then just schools here. The VTC is actually in the VTC you can see that it's but it contains more of school like like now this one is um um science this in school. You're going to see another school. Queen School, you also see another school again. Like the British is known for plenty of schools in it. Yeah, like as if the government just mapped out the British for schools. This Queen's College, you know, we can see that. And we passed science school before. I also passed Queen's College. We also going to see another school again. It's as if the government marked out the British for schools. But this is an estate too. Yes, that's one thing you should know about. You should know more than you should know very very well concerning um um locations whenever you're buying properties yes how to look at for what that particular area is known for so as an smart investor if you want to have um buy property and you know your best thing is going to be a good platform for you are going to get a huge on investment because you actually build here you know that students need accommodation and then when you build houses for students to live in that's going to give you you have a regular cash inflow every year Yes, because of the location where your house is located. Okay, this arrow is pointing towards the British estate. Also, you saw chapel of um, redemption over there. Yeah, 